What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Nav. Look, we're back here with another PO to pick artist video. And today we have two days for you guys. That being the Kai, Hi. As you can see here, and then we actually have a special event date. <laughs> so actually, we're gonna get started with that special event, squad event. You know, online. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, and real quick, guys, before we actually start off uh, reading this, make sure if you have not already subscribed to the channel. We're so close to 600, literally nine subscribers away. And then from that point on, then we're 60% of the way to 1K. Can't wait to hit 1K. That's the end goal here. But uh, yeah, recording this video, I just got through with my college work. Had an assignment, a paper to write. But you know, that's all done. I have another one, but you know, I got to get this video off for you guys. So if you could smash the like button for that, I'd really appreciate it. Anyways, let's get started. You're on your way to the local grocery store to pick up snacks for the week. It's a beautiful morning, so you've decided to walk there instead of drive. Halfway there, you notice that the same man has been walking behind you for a few blocks. Can I help you? I don't know. Can you? That's awfully cryptic. Yes. Yes, it is. Realizing that this conversation is going nowhere, you turn and walk away. You take a single step before the man grabs your sleeve and pulls you back. Oh, no, you don't. Hey, hey, you don't. Yeah, I don't know. I know you don't want to scrap, bro. Just sit tight for me, okay? With his free man hand, the man lifts his shirt collar to his mouth and speaks into it. You notice a small hidden microphone attached to the inside of his shirt. Carmen, move in. He's on to us. Obviously, break free and one. You twist your arm away from the stranger, pulling it out of his grasp. In the process, he loses balance and gets knocked to the ground. You start to sprint down the street, away from the attacker. Wait, freeze, uh, stop. You risk a glance behind you to see the man back on his feet and in hot pursuit. Unfortunately, this means you run right into a vehicle that you didn't notice. Ouch, that's gotta hurt, bruh. You bounce off the car's side door and fall to the ground just as it begins to open. Before you can get up, you feel a like weight on your back. You're pinned down. Ow. You manage to twist and see the person who's weighing you down. To, to your shock, it's a female police officer. The vehicle you ran into was a cop car. Carmen, isn't that the girl he was talking to? You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. You feel the cold bite of metal as she cuffs your hands together. With surprising strength, she hauls you to your feet. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. <laughs> this is kinky. Then just remain silent. A wise choice. The man who grabbed you walks up, rubbing his wrist. Was that whole speech really necessary, Carmen? I'm pretty sure the guy knows his Miranda rights. The officer pinches her nose inside. We're on the job, you butt. Call me Officer Ramos. Yeah, why am I under arrest? Get in. I'll list your crimes on the way to the station. The officer shoves you in the back of the seat, in the back seat of the cruiser, then closes the door. She gets in the driver's seat. The man, presumably also an officer, gets in next to her. I call shotgun. The woman shoots him a razor sharp look. The car begins to move. You said you list my crimes, what crimes, as if you don't already know. I'll do the talking, thanks. You're being brought in for armed robbery, aggravated assault, insurance fraud, kidnapping, arson, money laundering, tax evasion, embezzlement, identity theft, and indecent exposure. What? That's like every crime in the book. It wasn't me, I swear. You can swear all you want once you're standing before a jury. Or swear now if you want, whatever floats your boat. You sit back and try to think. You don't remember committing any crimes. Especially not all of the ones she listed. Those are some serious charges. You've gone awfully quiet back there, thinking of your sins. He has the right to remain silent, jackass. We've been over this. Just saying, maybe a confession would help him feel better, like at church. <laughs> I have nothing to confess. I did nothing wrong. That's fine. It's better if you wait until we're at the station anyway. Speaking of... Outside the window, you can see the police station as, as the cruiser pulls up front. All right, come with me. No sudden movements. Don't try anything. 30 minutes later, you're sitting in an interrogation room inside the station. Your handcuffs have been attached to the table. Running isn't an option. The man from before is gone, leaving you alone with the officer woman. She takes a seat. This will all go a lot smoother if you're just honest with me. I am being honest. I have no idea why I'm here. You have no idea, huh? Then allow me to remind you. You recently robbed the Grand Duchess Bank on Pine Street with a handgun. The officer slides a series of pictures across the table to you. The lobby of a fancy bank, a dark gray pistol. You don't recognize any of them. Of course, this was just the latest in a long run of crimes you've committed. 
I don't recognize anything you're showing me, you, really. You're still going to pretend that you're innocent here, huh? You've got a lot of crimes to answer for, Lucas. You're wasting everyone's time. Where is Kev? Kev? Who the hell is Kev? She jumps to her feet and slams her palms on the table. What? Is this your latest stolen identity? Whose life did you ruin now? A knocking sound emanates from the mirror on the wall. I was in Rainbow stares at the mirror for a moment, then sits back down. Is that your partner? My partner? You mean Officer Young? No, Mason is working another angle of the case for now. She pauses, then sits forward. Wait, I shouldn't have told you that. Stop trying to get into my head, Hall. You're not getting away this time. Why interrogate me? I'm not trying to do anything. I'm just confused. You're a damn good actor, Hall. I almost believed that one. Look, I'll cut to the chase. The officer produces more photos from an envelope and slides them to you. Each one is a mug shot. There's a half dozen, dozen rough-looking people in total. Catching you was just the beginning. We still need your accomplices. And you are going to help us catch them. Sure, I'll help, but how do I do that exactly? Ha, I figured you tried to... Wait, did you say yes? Oh, I mean, great, good. That's the correct decision. All you have to do is give us the location of your accomplices. In return, we'll cut your si sentence in half. Frankly, it's more than you deserve. Sounds great. Just one problem. I don't know these people. Mm-hmm. Okay, fine. Have it your way, then. She gestures at the mirror, then turns back to you. In a moment, I'll put evidence of your involvement right in front of you. Then we'll see how well you keep up the innocent act. It's not an act, but okay. For a few minutes, neither of you speak. She watches you, studying your every expression. You're getting uncomfortable. Can I go yet, or is this some new torture tactic you're trying out? The officer drums her fingers on the table, a nervous tick. Maybe. No, you can't go yet, obviously. This is just taking a little longer than I thought it would. Not a problem, I'm patient. She goes to say something, but the door suddenly swings open. A nervous-looking young man steps inside and hands your interrogator another envelope. Finally, let's see here. The man mumbles an apology and leaves the way he came. The officer slides two new photos off the package and slaps the one to the table. You want it proof? Here you go. This All right. Move. The first photo is a security cam picture showing the same bank lobby you saw before. This time the bank is occupied by people carrying briefcases and wheeled guns. You recognize the criminals from the mug shots. The officer points at another figure. Bang. Recognize him? The person that she's pointing at does look strangely familiar. It's furry, but... Then you look at the set second photo on your blood cruises. So how about it, Hall? Ready to help? Staring up at you is another mugshot, a photo of your own face. Wait, what? You've really stepped in it this time, Kyle. I expected publicly public indecency from you, but this? Fraud, robbery? But I can't remember you doing anything stupid like that. Clearly, neither can you. Are you being framed? The police seem convinced you're the culprit, and I see why. Whatever's going on here, I just hope you make it out intact. Jeez, what? Two days, 14 hours, and then seven days. Okay, so in about a week, we'll come back to this story. Uh, I'm to remember that. Uh, Hello? That was pretty interesting. Hi. Fair part. Now that you've helped Kai get back into the public eye, does she even have any use for you anymore? Thank you. Since the last time you saw Kai at the Speedway track, her story has made headline news across the country. It was revealed that her management was stealing from and blackmailing her. Roofers and several others were arrested. Kai has somehow tracked you down while you're waiting at the barbershop. Hey, Kai. Kai, so good to see you. And you, finally under normal circumstances. Kai hugs you in the middle of the barbershop. Are you okay? Better than ever. You busy? You're about to get a trim, but you decide not to. Okay, great. I have 10 minutes. Let's grab lunch. Before you can respond, Kai leaves the barbershop. She jumps into a waiting car. You hop in and the driver speeds off. Sorry about the speed. We got to lose our tail. Your tail? Paparazzi. The paparazzi are everywhere. You get used to it. Yeah, I figured. The car screeches around the corner at full speed. Why only 10 minutes? So where are we heading? A little place where I won't, where we won't be disturbed. Sorry, I can't give you longer. I got interviews lined up all day. This is going crazy. That's okay. I get it. I knew you would understand. You were there for me when nobody else was. I'll never forget that. You lean in to kiss Kai, but she leans back. Hold up. There's more. Room. 
the two of you are suddenly ragdolled as the car swerves through traffic. This guy sure knows how to drive. The car slows down and the motorbike pulls up beside you. Crap, head down. Put your head down. You dug down as the camera flashes above you. These assholes get everywhere. The driver finds a way out of traffic and evades the photographer. That was close. A few minutes later, you pull up at the back of a fancy restaurant. We're heading in the back way so we don't get noticed. Follow me. Follow Kai. You follow Kai into the restaurant. She takes your hand and looks at you directly in the eyes. I'm sorry about before. What do you mean? In the car. You tried to kiss me. I couldn't. There are complications. But here. Here is fine. Kai kisses you passionately before breaking off and leading you to the table. The entire restaurant is empty except for you, Kai, and the waiter. I ordered ahead for both of us because I don't have much time. The waiter serves your food almost immediately. It's Mexican. I hope you like it. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here more for the company. Me and you. You're so sweet. Well, feel free to dig in. I sure will. I'm starved. You and Kai begin to eat. It's a very weird atmosphere when you're the only ones in the room. Kai takes a huge bite from a burrito, puts it down, and then touches your hand to get your attention. So what was I saying before? The complications? Yeah, what do you mean by that? I'm in the public eye, and that means I have responsibilities. Yeah, I get that. So here's something you might not know about the music industry. Before we met, I was technically in a relationship with R. Tardy, the rapper. <laughs> R. Tardy. What do you mean technically? It's all fake to sell albums. We did a collab one time, and people started rumors about us. So we made up this fake relationship, and it helped us sell a whole bunch of records. You're not really together. Exactly. There was never anything there. And between you and me, he's super gross. But now I'm back out here and free. I got to maintain the illusion. Does that make sense? Yeah, I get it. Great. I knew you'd get it. Well, I hope you would. Kai takes a big gulp of wine. I want to keep seeing you, but you have to understand that my life is pretty full. I might only get time like once every month or so. Let's see how it goes. Okay, I'm glad you want to. We'll have to be discreet, though. In fact... A woman with big hair comes storming into the restaurant. My PR lady will tell you the specifics. Hey, PR lady, this is Caroline. Oh, dang, she do got some big hair. Hello, Kai, we're late. Won't be All soon. right. Move, dope. Got a thumbnail out of it, too. Kai turns back to you. It'll be easier if she tells you what to say and do around me. If I do it, it'll just be awkward. Anyway, I gotta go. Kai kisses you. The waiter. The waiter, Kai. All right, I know. Kai takes your hand mentally. I'll speak to you soon, promise. Kai and Caroline leave. The waiter approaches you. More wine, sir? I think you'll need some more wine after this. Who is this Caroline woman? And why do you need to be told how to act around Kai now? Things are going to change dramatically now that Kai is back in the public eye. The question is, can you handle the exposure? And what will it do to your dating life? Who knows? Anyways, guys, these are all the things that we have. Um... Like I said, I know when next week we'll have the other two dates for that event thing, and then we just have to wait until, you know, I can randomly unlock dates because I don't have any more gems. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you're new so you never miss a video. So close to 600. Hopefully, we can hit it soon. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I had playing it. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.